Fraud Podcast and DJ Academics because really all of them are trending on Twitter right now. And when I woke up this morning to check my emails, I had gotten a bunch of emails with links on Twitter, on Instagram, because this is kind of viral at this point. Because Brittany Renner decided to go on to DJ Academics Off the Record podcast again, but not to talk about herself. She went on the podcast basically to confront two irrelevant, non-qualified, lacking intellect struggle bandits, basically. And I don't really understand why everybody keeps trying to talk to these struggle bandits. I do from the perspective of black women after generations and decades and even I would venture to say centuries of black men valuing them, debasing them, demeaning them, exploiting them and now that we're in 2022 and we have the advent of social media, using social media as a means to eat off of black women. Black women still are confused about this. They still think that they can talk these men out of this. They still think that confronting them is going to work. And I'm not talking about Brittany Renner because Brittany Renner isn't a black woman. She's a preference. What's really interesting about this is that when the funky and fake podcast were exploiting black women for monetary gain because that's what it is these bandits who call themselves coaches they're not here to help black men get dates they can't help black men get dates because they themselves are just as undesirable and non-select as the men who flock to them so they're not trying to help these bandits do something that they're not able to do even when they do have women of other races on their podcast you can just look at these women and look at the fact that they want to be in proximity to black men and you can already tell they don't have any value amongst the men in their own community because the men from other communities look poorly on black men and they look more poorly on their women for having any type of interest in black men except to get money out of them and we know that's not happening on the funky and fake podcast because at the end of the day, they have no money. These are not high value men. What these are are clowns who have access to the internet and they can pretend to be all that they can be like the U.S. Terry because black women are not going to fact check. Black women are going to build these men up. They're going to give them money. They're going to be the content. They're going to go on their show repeatedly to seek validation from struggle bandits that are undeserving. But I digress. Brittany Renner is not a black woman. She is a biracial woman whose mind was molded by her mother of no color who also had a habit of going out and finessing various different black men who put a high currency on their whiteness. What's ironic about this, as I was saying before, is that when the Funky and Fake podcast decided to tribe about black women, it is the women who look like Brittany Renner that they said they will make an exception for. I gotta be honest with y'all, the fact that I have to come on here, and I know that I don't have to, but people ask me to speak on this, and give my opinion, so I'm going to do that. But the fact that these bandits are even a factor is annoying to me. And it's an example of how black women, the main thing that they want is validation from black men. They want black men validation. They want black men to value them. They want black men to see any type of worth in them. And it doesn't have to be a certain type of black man. It can be any black man i.e. the funky and fake podcast and so we're going to get into this video that's going viral i didn't just take the clip off of twitter i actually went and saw that dj academic premiered the eight minute discussion on his youtube channel this morning i'm going to show you guys probably a five minute clip so that you can get the context of how this discussion played out then I'm going to show you guys some comments. Then we're going to come back and talk about a number of different things because a lot of people are saying that the Funky and Fake podcast got checked by Brittany Renner. There's discussion about colorism and skin tone and Asian doll is coming up. And we know why Asian doll is coming up because this whole situation stemmed from her where the Funky and Fake podcast with their own Musty and Ash 
literally these dudes should be called must and ashy one of them looked like he ain't even seen a bottle of lotion so homeboy you didn't know jergens existed before you went and set up on a podcast really you couldn't have threw some baby oil on all that ash he don't really care this is the most attention these two bandits have ever gotten in their entire life and they would see if black women would actually understand what's going on here but i want to show you the videos i want to show you the comments we'll talk about the colorism aspect of it we'll talk about whether they got checked but i do want to give a shout out to everyone who sends me content if you guys want to contribute to the content on this channel as usual i'll give you the opportunity to do so by emailing me the emails in the description box pinned to the comment section thumbs the video subscribe to the channel when you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to all notifications so you'll know every time i go live and when i upload new content now without further ado i want to show you guys the video again it's a little lengthy you'll see the comments and then we'll come back for further commentary Fresh great idea was don't tell Myra until today. <laughs> so we walk in, you first see Brittany Renner, uh -huh. and we're like, we're thinking you're probably gonna be like, okay, shit, we're gonna have this great debate. But you mm -hmm. said you said initially, like, yeah, I don't think there's much to really like debate. Why? Well, I mean, <laughs> we here's the thing. We've always said it like men and women are very different. We have opposing goals. Like girls are trying to, you know, get resources, time, attention out of guys, guys are trying to get sex. And Girls, a lot of the time, are trying to get what they need to get out of dudes without necessarily giving it up. And some girls are good at it, some girls aren't. And then there's other girls that are kind of models for that, that are good at finessing dudes. And not to say that you're a finesser, I ain't saying that, but girls are able to, you know, run laps around a lot of guys. And that's why our podcast exists, to help dudes out to understand, like, how women operate and how they move. Now, so, you have a different point of view. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you think she fits in that? Because, you know, I, I, I think... Her point of view would be diametrically opposed to you guys by saying, well, well, I'm not the, the exact typical person who you may think dudes are running into or you're trying to tell people to stay away from. I mean, well, sure, she could tell she was saying that we're wrong, I guess, about that. Well, so I you would, tell us a little bit about yourself. Though. No, I think you know more about me than I do myself. So you're oh, saying, no, no obviously, obviously you do, though, because you said that you warn guys about girls like me. So tell me about girls like me. Just women me. in general, like I mean. Well, no, a, no, don't women in general, because you literally specifically said before we got on here this was off -camera conversation. that you, yeah, you did say that. That's true. You warn guys about girls like me. So now that we're face to face, what kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. That's the key. I'm not special. <laughs> like, so, you're like other women that are. So like, what makes you special then? I never said I was. But you're trying to say, well, what makes me different from like a lot of women operate the way you do? Which and is, how do I operate? In general, what I just said before, women, it's a dance between the two genders. Men are trying to get sex. Women are trying to get resources, time, attention, whatever it is that they're looking for. And a lot of girls play the game better than guys. We talk about this openly on our podcast. And we're teaching guys how to not necessarily get finesse and get what they want out of girls, which a lot of the times is intimacy, but they're not able to get it. But girls are easily able to obtain money, time, resource, attention, whatever it is. Girls are running laps around dudes, which yeah. is why podcasts like ours exist. Do, do, do you believe that... Brittany has been effective in extracting, as you say, time, resources, and other things out of dudes. Yeah, to a degree, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of girls want to do... I mean, it, well, here's the thing. You've been so adamant about me being incorrect, and I, I, I don't know, and you don't know me, and all this other stuff. Tell me then. Maybe, maybe we're off. Who knows? Well, I think, first of all, let's bring it back a couple notches. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's really a lot to unpack here because my first question to you say. is, what do you gain from telling girls special? How does that make you feel? I mean, I know, everything, talking, is, I know we, everything is a joke, but I'm asking you a real question. So how does it make you feel? Because if I say you're a bitch ass, that does something for me, right? If I insult you or if I tell you you're not special, you're forgettable. What does that do I for me? No, but that doesn't. But that's what I'm saying. No, but I'm. But I'm saying, what if I call you? If I just say that again, you're forgettable. That's why I didn't want to do you guys' podcast. Forgettable. Hate the setup. Uh, the name is underwhelming. I didn't really see the value in it. Sure. Right. Okay, that's, that's how fine. I feel. Right. That's perfect. But so that's fine. But for me, that's okay if it wasn't a fit for me. But I also don't need to you know, in a way kind of try to devalue what you guys have going on. Because at the end of the day, I may not agree with anything you guys talk about. Because honestly, I feel like when you've seen two or three videos, you've seen them all. 
But the reality is, is that I went to your guys' page and I went to the different links and the different services and the courses that you guys offer. And I do see that there's a place for that. So even though it may not have been in alignment with what I